I want to welcome you. Thank you for being in the house of the Lord one more time. And thank you for joining us here at Cedar Grove. We want to thank our friends, our family, and our visitors for coming here today to help us worship the Lord. The Lord has been good to us all week, and I just want to say thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for your yes. grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for waking us up this morning yes. and starting us on our way, Lord Jesus, bringing us to your place safe and sound. Yes. God just has been so good to us, and we just here to show him how much we love him and how much we care for him and how yes. much we uh, think about him. And we just want to walk with him and yes. talk with him. He, we just want him to learn help us learn his ways yes. so we can get right with the Lord and go home one day and be in his presence. Yes. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You've been so good. Thank you for allowing us to step out on faith every each and every day. Yes. And thank you for blessing our kids, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for keeping us safe because the streets are so bad out there, Lord Jesus. Yes. But yet and still you bring us in, bring us back home each and every day. And that's enough to say thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. For what you have done for us, for dying for us, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to wake up this morning with our, in our right minds, and and I uh, can walk, Lord Jesus, and we not got a funeral home on a, on a cold board, Lord Jesus. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you for being here with us, Lord. And we just want to show out for you today, and friends and family, family, if you get something out of here, out of this sermon today.
shall be mine. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, that the Lord might stand on. Victory, victory shall be mine. Come on, come on. Victory, victory shall be mine.
point to yourself. <laughs> Victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. I'll, I'll be able to go to sleep at night. Hello, I won't be tossing and turning all night long. Yeah. If I put it in the Lord's hand. I said if I put it in the Lord's hand. That's the best hands I know to be. They used to have a commercial saying you a good hand with all stuff. Until you have an accident. And your premium goes up. And if you have too many accidents, they'll send you a letter of cancellation. How many know this morning how many accidents in life you made, but the Lord kept holding on to you? I wish you had a witness in every accident you made. The Lord kept holding on to you. Even when you couldn't hold on to yourself. Hello, somebody. He won't cancel the policy. Matter of fact, he said, there's a new mercy. A new mercy. I can't use yesterday's mercy. I used yesterday's mercy up. Yeah. But when I woke up this morning, I had a brand new mercy. Yeah. Hello, somebody. I said, when I woke up this morning, I had a brand new mercy. Ah, uh, who would say a guy like that is merciful? Said he is full of mercy. We thank God uh, being here on this morning, the first Sunday month of October. This year is moving. I said this year is moving. It'll be Thanksgiving. Then it'll be Christmas. And then next thing you know, it'll be 2020. A new year. God has been good to us and has kept us and sustained us and we are glad about it. Look at somebody and say, I'm glad about it. I got aches in my body, but I'm glad about it. I'm tired, but I'm glad about it. Oh yeah, I, 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 I don't feel the best, but guess what, I'm glad about it. Some people are gone, they don't, they don't have no feelings. Yeah. Amen, they don't have no feelings, but we ought to thank God today for his mercies and his grace unto us. Amen, amen. This time we're going to ask every one of you to stand to your feet as we go before the Lord in prayer. So many things are happening, so many people are moving from life to translation. I don't have everybody's name, but we want to pray for uh, Pastor Xavier Thompson, whose mother uh, transitioned. transition in Mississippi and um, just so so many so many things that are happening anytime God gives you another day he means he's not through with me. so if you would mind holding hands of the person standing next to you say this all the time, you never know what a person is going through. Just because they smile on the outside doesn't mean that they're not hurt on the inside. A lot of hurting people. But we know and we're thankful today that God knows how to heal every hurt. Said he knows how to heal every hurt. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come today. We thank you for your mercies unto us. Been good to us all week long, taking us through danger seen and unseen. Yes. You had your hand upon us, stayed the hand of the enemy, stayed the death angel. While we were yet slumbering sleep, yes, yes. you 
Bible said all night and all day, the angels will be watching over us. Thank you for taking us across the dangerous streets, Lord. So dangerous, you it's not just walking on the streets, but it's dangerous to even cross the streets. People are driving fast in there. They don't have any regard for life. We pray right now for this country, Lord, that it would return back to you. From the officials in government for the president. You said it is our responsibility to pray for them. And we pray that they would turn their hearts to you. Shut their mouths of discord. Shut their mouths of hatred. Shut their mouths of racial discrimination. Shut the mouths of rogue police officers who blatantly take innocent lives. We pray right now, Lord God, for the safety of your people. And you said in your word, if my people to call by your name and humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways. We would hear from heaven and you would heal the land. Heal the land, Lord. From the outhouse to the white house, heal the land, Lord. From the desert to the sea, heal the land, Lord. From the mountain peaks to the valleys, Lord, heal the land. Only do so by us being obedient to your word. Now help us, Lord, to stand firm on your word. Your word is a light unto our feet, lamp unto our pathway. Lead us and guide us, direct us, that we would do that which is pleasing in your sight. Now we pray for the hands that we hold. These are special hands. Hands that have been through the storm, that have through the rain. Hands that have been through trial, tribulation. But nonetheless, they have stood on your word. And because standing on your word, you have kept us. You have never left us. Now we ask that you would bless these hands, Lord. You know what each need is. Individually, collectively. Bless them, Lord, only as you know how to bless them. Don't just bless for what we want, but bless us for what we need. We need you right now. Thank you for the healing that you've placed in the body. Even before they go to the doctor, let your healing virtues prevail. Thank you for those that have come through surgery, those that have come through sickness, and yet have a mind to give your name the praise. Now bless us today. Let us hear from you. Speak unto our hearts now that we may be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. And it's all in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. And thank God. And every believer, put your hands together and give God praise. Amen. 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 We may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This time we're going to have our announcements being read. Let's give Mother Maddie Wilson a hand as she comes. Amen. Amen.
go with your life and see where God has brought you from. Yeah. 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 God has brought us from a mighty long way. Amen. The things I used to do, don't do no more. The places I used to go, I don't go anymore. Amen. Some folk I used to hang with, I can't hang with no more. Hello, somebody. Amen. That's a testimony. You can, you can see where your life has changed. Come on, somebody. You can, you can see where your life has changed. That's a testimony. Amen. People look at you and say, you don't look like the same person you used to hang with. Yeah, that's right. I got a testimony of what the Lord can do. Amen. If he can change me, I know he can change you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody. Don't look at me like you're out of some of y'all some tough cookies out there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Some of y'all didn't, didn't just go for bad. You was bad. Yeah. Amen. But God has brought us a mighty long way whereof we are glad. We we'll move right quickly and expeditiously. I know to change it a little bit into the word of the Lord. Uh, going to ask uh, that we prepare ourselves for our offering right now. And we will move quickly. Maybe we will move quickly. Romans is more than a book of theology. Romans is a book of practical exhortation. Presenting yourself, he yes, says, present yes. yourself, present yourself as a living sacrifice, mm. a living, breathing, moving, functional organism that God has breathed into you that you may glorify him yes. and he get the glory out of your life. Present yourself. Yes, yes. It used to be uh, said, you know, uh, grandma went to church, that's good enough for me, but that's <laughs> not go get it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is something you have to get for yourself. Yes. Yes. That's why he says, present yourselves. Yes. A living sacrifice. Yes. Holy and acceptable unto God. And he said, This is just what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's your reasonable service. Yes, yes. It is what you are built to do. It's yes, what you have yes. been called to do. Yes. Present yes. yourself yes. a living sacrifice. Yes. A living yes. sacrifice. Yes. Anything that's dead ought to be buried. Yes. Uh, it, it amazes me. It amazes me. I'm always astonished. Uh, as I work uh, in, in various venues to see the excitement and the attitude of people in public venues. Yes, Last yes. night at the forum was Peter Frampton. I saw old folks. Because yeah. Peter Frampton is old. I saw right. old folks right. in wheelchairs. I yes, saw yes. old folks uh, on walkers. I yes. saw Old folks on canes. Right. <laughs> I saw old folks just barely making it. But when the music started playing, I saw them same old folks get up and, 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 and on one good leg. And Jay Brown would say, get on the good foot. Whatever good foot they had, they got up on that one good foot because Peter Frampton was playing his guitar. And it always just astounds me. Uh, this afternoon, when I'll be at the LAFC watching uh, the the uh, soccer match. It amazes me how folks in wheelchairs, in walkers, in on crutches will be mad if you are in their way, trying to get to their seat to watch somebody. Kick a ball into a net so that everybody can scream, Go! <laughs> it amazes me that last Sunday uh, at the Coliseum, how they were looking 
for the Rams to win, in which they didn't win, but every time the Rams scored, the people were screaming. I've seen them, I've seen folk find their way to an elevator <laughs> or an escalator because they couldn't take the stairways and get to a game. I, I, it amazes me how folks could walk into the house of God yes, yes. and act as though they have nothing to pray yes. and give God yes. 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 If any place you ought to make some noise, it ought to be right, right here in the house of God. Because, because we already know who won, who who scored the winning touchdown. We know who kicked the winning goal. We we know whose music would last throughout the church. It always amazes me how folk can come to church if they come at all and be quiet. It's this it's a time where you ought to shout, ought to scream, ought to holler, ought to let your voice be heard because the Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we ought to be glad about. We ought to be glad. We ought to be glad that he got us up this morning. I mean, uh, he, he woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. He gave us hands to clap our hands, and he gave us feet to stop. He gave us a mouth to open up our mouths and give him praise and glory. It is a time that we need to change our minds on how we feel when we come to God's house. I wish I had a witness here. It, it, it's a challenge. It is, it's, a, it's a challenge. Now, we're living in challenging times. This, this world seeks to change your mind. Yes, it, 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 it wants to change your mind and go against the commandments and the laws of God. And, uh, uh, we, we're living in such a mind-changing world that what once was bad is now good. And what once was good is now bad. And, 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 and the fear that it is now trying to creep into God's house because there were certain things we just didn't stand for. Uh-huh, yeah. There, there were some things that if you was out of order, somebody would come and let you know. I, I don't know about you, but I I, 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 re, I remember I remember many pinches I got in church. Oh, yeah, tug in your ear, pinching. Uh, uh, you, uh, I, I remember uh, uh, cutting up uh, uh, with some friends and, and in the balcony, and, and I don't know how my mother knew that I was cutting up in the balcony, but my mother had this way of looking back over her shoulder and let me know that I, I see you, boy. And, and, and I thought she didn't see me. Uh, I was up in the balcony. You know, I thought that was a hideaway. I was in the balcony of the church. I was upstairs in the balcony, and my mother was on the ground floor. But, but my mother knew that I was cutting up, and my mother looked the second time, and and, and, and I, I, I figured that if I hid behind my friend that she wouldn't you know, know that it was me cutting up because he was up there giggling and laughing and cutting up. Well, you know, in, in baseball, three strikes, you're out the third time. My mother looked over her shoulder, but then there was this usher that had come upstairs and tapped me on my shoulder and said, your mama wants you. And, 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 and I politely got up with tears rolling down my cheeks because I knew I was in trouble then because when I got downstairs, my mother didn't even look at it. She just patted her hand on the seat and then you sitting right here. And, and when I sat down right there, uh, uh, my mother kindly took her fingers, her thumb and her index finger and she pinched me and, 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 and by pinching me was saying amen to the preacher. I couldn't understand how she could say amen and then flick that kind of pain on her only son, but that was a time when people cared and wanted you to respect the house of God. But we're living in a time now that you have to be politically correct. You got, you got to be careful how you talk to people. You got to be careful what you say to folks. People got tissue feelings and, 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 and you fearful that if you say something to them to correct them, then, then they ain't going to come back. Well, maybe they ought not to be here anyway. You can't come to God's house for a little more than an hour and be 
nice and be respectful and give honor and give glory to God. Maybe you're in the wrong place. You need to go to the Savoy Club where you can do what you want to do. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Amen. If we're living in a time where we have to have a renewed mind, when you see the word renew means it's to, to read, it means that you got to do something over that had already been done. That's why he said it's the renewing of your mind. What was your mind before Christ? You got to renew it. We had some bad minds Oh yeah, I said we. I didn't say you. I said we had some bad minds and God had to come and transform and change our way of thinking. Change our way of walking and change our way of talking. It's a change that has to be made because in this present world, the way it is now, it's hard to kind of figure out is this the right way or is that the right way because so many people are doing it this way, maybe yeah. it's the right way, but I also heard that broad is the way yes, sir. Yes, sir. that leads yes. to destruction, yes. and you go find a whole lot of folk on Broadway. Look yes, at your neighbor and tell them, get off of Broadway. Yes, uh, and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. I'm, I'm not trying to run with the crowd. Amen. Amen. I'm not trying to run with the crowd because the crowd is not all always running in the right direction. I, I wish I had a witness in here. There, there's some folk that you may be running with. They ain't going the right way. It looks like it's popular. And I believe that it said in the word of God there's a way that seemeth right in a man's eyes but the end thereof is death and destruction. I, I don't want to be in that line of death and destruction. I want to be in the line that goes straight to the throne room of God. I don't need any mishaps. I don't need anybody telling me something that's going to wind up putting me in hell. It's enough hell on earth as it is for me to die and then go to hell. So sometimes it means you may have to walk alone. But know this one thing, my brother and sister, that you are never alone. When you're walking in the pathway of duty, when you're walking in the right direction, when you come to the close of the day, you want to make sure that your hand is in the hand of the man that calmed the waters. You have to understand that the mind is a battlefield. And the devil is desperately trying to take your mind. He wants your mind so bad that he will cause depression. He will make things to seem to be worse than what they are. And sometimes you got to back up off of the situation and say, Lord, show me the right way. I will stand here and wait on you. Because if I keep going, Going forward, it's only gonna damage me. Depression, my friend, is real. You don't believe me? Depression is real. There are so many people, young people, that have killed or destroyed themselves because of depression. And unfortunately, depression is trying to creep into the church. I've never seen so many sad faces when you come to the house of the Lord. What happened when David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. What's wrong with us now? It's a mind problem. We come in and we drag it. But we ought to be happy that just another day that the Lord has kept me. Then he cast doubt and fear. He wants to make you feel that you come into the house of the Lord. It's a waste of your time. I wish I had a witness here. Sometimes it's such a drag and sometimes it's such a pull to get up and come to the Lord's house but you ain't got no problem getting up 
up on Monday morning, putting on your clothes, combing your hair, and getting in your car to go to a job that God bless you to have. Get in the car that God bless you to drive. Get out the house that God bless you to live in. Jump in the designer clothes that God bless you to buy. You got to get out doubt and fear. And understand I'm going to tell the devil, for God I'll live and for God I'll die. The next thing he will try to do is mess with your mind about your money. And when your money is funny and your change is strange, it's amazing how when you ain't got no money, the first place you take it out on is the house of the Lord. You may be broke, busted, and disgusted. Need a checkup from your neck up. But if you don't have no money, come to the house of the Lord and say, Lord, the next time I come, I want you to bless me to be able to bless the house of the Lord. Do I have a witness up in here? The next thing he attacks, he attack your mind through your family. Everybody act the fool, children act the fool, husband act the fool, wife act the fool, even the fool act the fool, the rat act the fool, the cat act the fool, the dog act the fool. Everybody in your house is acting a stone fool, but you gotta tell the fool. God said.
Jesus is still the light of the world. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Sometimes God sends things to strengthen you, not to destroy you. God gets no pleasure in destroying his own. He wants us to change. Our mind. Jesus told his disciples one occasion, meet me on the other side. Meet me on the other side. So if he said meet me, that meant that he was going to be there. But this is what the enemy does. As they were going across to the other side, a strong tempest arose. Yes. And the waves were boisterous. Yes. And the winds were blowing. Yes. And they were in the boat fearful. Yes. And the same Jesus was up in the mountain praying. Yes. Yes. Saw them and came walking on the wind with waves. Yes. it was a ghost but Peter looked up and said Lord if it's you bid me to come the waves were still blowing the winds were still howling and Peter got up out the boat and was walking on the water with Jesus his mind was right because he was walking and kept his eyes on the Lord. But as soon as he heard the folk in the boat talking, you gotta watch folk in the boat that's talking and ain't walking. I wish I had a witness now. Peter was walking while they were talking and he listened to them that was talking instead of keep walking and down he went. When you listen to talk, folk just talking, you going down. You got to keep your eyes on the Lord because you were, you were doing things that nobody else, Peter's the only person other than Jesus to walk on water. And as he was walking and went down, notice he had enough sense. He didn't say, y'all in the boat help me. He said, Lord, save me. And as Jesus picked him up out of that same water, listen, 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 listen. They both walked back to the boat together. Sometimes you got you can't be afraid to step out of the boat. Yes, yes, yes. Especially if you ask Jesus yes. to let you walk with him. Yes. Walk with me, Lord. Yes. While I'm on this tedious journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. Well, he wants to walk with you, but he don't want you listening to poke in the boat. Right, right, right. They walk back and they got in the boat together. And the conversation is so interesting to me. The waves are still boisterous. The winds are still blowing. And Jesus looked at Peter and asked him, Man, he was walking on water. What caused you to stop? What, what, what was wrong with you, man? Now the waves are still howling. Folk in the boat are looking and listening to the conversation. And then Jesus looked at, oh, okay, uh, y'all be still. The waves stop and the winds stop blowing. Sometimes God talks to us in the middle of the storm. We've got to be willing to listen and not be consumed 
with the circumstances around us. That's right, that's right. If he's in charge, guess what? We're going to be all right. I said if he's in charge, we're going to be all right. Bow your heads. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. Help us change our minds. Protect and guard our minds against that which the enemy is trying to impose upon us. Help us to keep our eyes and our minds focused on you. And even in the storms of life that come, the winds will blow, the rains will beat, but let us never lose sight of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody here does not know the Lord and a part of your sin, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. You don't know the Lord in part of your sins, or you strayed away, or you're looking for a church home. Those of you that are looking by way of social media, you have a responsibility to a God that loves and has kept you. That you would give back to Him what He's given to you. Present your bodies and living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And stop looking for perfect people in an imperfect place. We all have faults. We all have faults. We all have faults. But thanks be to God, He is merciful enough to forgive us of all of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So glad about that today. I'm so glad about that. He is the righteous judge. He's the keeper of our soul. Yes, yes. And there's somebody here under the sound of our voice and you do not have a church on me. We present to you Cedar Grove Church. We are a church striving to be a five-star church. We haven't got there yet, but we're on our way. Yes, yes, yes. Look at your neighbor and say, we're on our way. Yes. Somebody desires prayer, you can stand where you are. We'll pray with and for you. That God will keep you and inspire you to do greater works for him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Father, in Jesus' name, these that are standing, you know the need. Yes, yes, yes. And you've given them to give them talent. Yes, yes. Let it be to your glory that it works into the kingdom of God. Yes. We thank you for the honesty. We thank you for the sincerity. Yes. Thank you for the mind change that you've given to them even right now. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Put your hands together and give God a praise in this house. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Somebody throw a quarter at me. All right. All right. Amen. I'll, I'll take it. Amen. Oh, this is your quarter. <laughs> hey, people look at me funny when they see me stooping down picking up pennies, and I tell them pennies make nickels. Nickels make dimes. Dimes make quarters. Quarters make dollars. Yes, yes, yes. See, you never know. I was walking to work one day and didn't have any money. This recently. I was walking to work, didn't have any money. Uh, payday wasn't until the next day. And while I was walking, I said, Boy, I sure would like to just have a cup of coffee. That's all I wanted. I wanted just a cup of coffee. And I was walking and I got like a block away from my job and it was a brand new Chris $5 bill. Right. I kept it. 
thank you for this time. All right, all right. Yeah. And I have kept it in my wallet ever since. Yeah. Yeah. And in doing so, the Lord keeps blessing. That's right. Yeah. That's and keeps right. blessing. That's right. And keeps blessing. Yeah. I may only have a dollar, but I'll have a dollar plus five. I'll have six dollars. Right. Because I trust God all right. yeah. in all that I do. So it's still just as crisp as it was when I found it on the ground. What I'm saying is sometimes you're not looking in the right places. You might be walking right past your blessing. Yeah, it all stuck up. You look at it and you walk right past your blessing. You don't know how your blessing will come. That's why you have to keep. The Bible said, watch yes. and pray. Yes. Watch and pray. God bless you. God keep you. Before we go into our communion service, we're going to have Sister Maddie Wilson to come at this time. Let's receive her by saying amen. Amen. Yes, yes. It blessed me. Yes. And if it didn't bless you.